I left home, wasn't the best environment for me. It's been everything but easy. I've been in Hollywood for like 25 years. I'm kind of like stuck here. I didn't think I was gonna make it. Every step I took, there was no solid ground. I just kept slipping and falling. Jobs didn't come as easy as I thought they would, and, and life just really kind of took a toll on me, and, and I ended up out here in the streets. Being in prison, I contracted Hep C on top of HIV that I contracted at 25, which is what brought me here. Getting help was easy once I figured out that the help was there. Here at the Satellite Clinic, our mission is to try and provide as many of the services that the people that we're serving need. The more that we can provide all of those services in one place, the better the health outcomes are going to be for the people that we're serving. I lost the desire to actually really continue. I was just like, I just settled and just said to myself, well, this is it, this is, this is my line right here, this is where I'm gonna stop, you know, and I didn't see any kind of future. Then I learned about this place through an uh, incident that it gave me uh, HIV. You know, it is hard to go to a doctor, you know, to a major hospital to go get help, especially without being ridiculed or, or looked upon, frowned because you're homeless. And here, the clients are homeless. We are not going to ask uh, our patients to fit into the model of care that we're providing, that we are going to continually try to evolve to come up with new and novel interventions and modalities that are going to meet people where they're at and help them access care where they are. I have something that I can't get rid of. And I have to take pills or, or, or a shot every two months for, as of right now, for the rest of my life. And I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that because it keeps me alive. It keeps me living and, and this place provides that for me. I feel grateful that, I'm, that I have a place that I can go and check on my health. I feel grateful that um, like, I consider this home. When I came home, everything fell together. We are working toward a better solution for these people. And so right now, um, as long as we can keep people engaged in their health and, and optimizing their health outcomes, we're better preparing them for what comes next. And we have to believe that there is something beyond this moment right now that this shouldn't be a permanent state for anybody who's seeking services here. The fact that places like this are even out there where they don't expect for you to come up out of pocket for anything and really go to bat and fight for you, you know, they, they make it possible for me to, to get what I need to get to be able to continue breathing. And once I got my health right, then it was like, okay, I can see something else growing because now I can see longevity. I can see it's beyond the point of the streets. You know, it gives me something to strive for. Saban actually gave me, a, you know, two feet to stand on, really, they did, you know, so I thank God for them, really, I do.